Hi guys, welcome to Midnight Fantasy Creation. Uh, this is our new channel. We'll be doing videos on demos um, and other various items that I do just to uh, make my job simple. I well, figured I can share it with you guys. So if you like crafting, you might find some of this helpful. You might find it not. If you do like it, please follow along. So this is our first video and I am going to be showing you what I do with my makeup powders. When I get them, I get different ones. I got the nice chrome powders as well as just various. These are called pearl makeup powders. These are from Marble try to do my best to link everything I use below. Um, I do put the marble mica powders in these little containers to make it easier uh, to use um, because they come in little baggies instead of jars like these. Uh, but I am going to show you what I do. So a lot of these you can Basically, just paint over a mold and then fill it with a base. I already did this one. I did it in black as well as uh, a white base. And as you can see, they come out very differently in a different base. I will also be doing a clear mix. So I'll be mixing the powders in a clear resin with no pigment um, other than the makeup powder itself. Uh, so I can see what they look like before I get started on any project. That way I'm not wasting my resin. And I have a better understanding of what it should at least look like before I take it out of the mold. I'm only going to do one so I'm not wasting your time. I'm hoping for this to be a nice quick short video uh, for especially my first one. And then I will be doing some boxes, rooms, as well as some trinket boxes or trays. And everything that I do on here, uh, I do sell the handmade items on my Etsy shop. I will try to link that below as well. And my non-handmade items have like design clothes and whatnot um you'll find that on my website midnightfantasycreation.com and again i will try and link that below as well you can check it out i'm trying to make sure the items on these websites get rotated for seasons to keep things going new fresh So if you do decide to do this for your own benefit, do make sure your molds are clean. Uh, the powder comes off the brush fairly easily. I just use my rubber mat and clean it off afterwards in between each round. Yeah, so I'm just going to color these in. I'll speed up the video wherever I can to kind of make these a little faster. I do tend to keep these roughly in the same position as I have them on my, in my mold, so I am not confusing what's what, because some of these colors are very similar, and I don't show you right here. These are both a different shade of purple if I didn't keep it separate, I would probably forget which one was which, and then not necessarily get an accurate color assumption. Of course, some of these I have not done at all.
Alright, so I had some mixed up before. This is UV resin. I'm doing the UV resin because it is faster and I can get through these much quicker instead of having to wait for the epoxy to dry. Um, normally I cover these. Uh, apparently I spaced it and yeah, I did not cover them so it hardened. I'm gonna have to make some fresh stuff. So that was a nice waste. Um, but generally with the UV resin, if you keep them covered with certain exceptions, uh, basically you do not want the light touching them because they will cure it. But if you can keep it in a nice dark uh, box, tin, anything that doesn't let any light in, you can keep these actually nice and uncured quite some time. I am doing eight drops to about a half of one of these little thingies. I don't know how many ounces or milliliters are in one of these little cups, um, but I don't want to mix too much because I don't have too much left to do. So I am just going to do that real quick, although I am running it out in this bottle. And you can put the um, pigment in for after. I find it doesn't matter as long as you scrape, especially if you're just mixing it. Uh, scrape all the edges and stir nicely. I am trying to get this to be quite opaque. Um, I don't want it too transparent because I don't want it I want the, the color to be quite vibrant on a nice white background and I don't want to mess that up by making it too transparent. So you can check on your um, whatever you're mixing with. Um, I have glue sticks which is great for this. If I was mixing a blue color I would probably grab a wooden one just so I can actually see how much color is there try not to get any bubbles in although it's not really going to matter for this project but for other projects you definitely don't want to get any bubbles in there all right normally larger projects i would just pinch and pour but these are so tiny it does not take much to overfill them so i'm using my stirring stick and just letting it nicely drip in i want to overfill it but i don't want to underfill it either because I do glue these to the caps. So it's not curing on me, like I said. Maybe keep it out of the light. And that includes whatever lamp you're using. I am currently using a nail UV lamp. Uh, works just fine. Actually, I love this thing. It's from, I'm not even gonna try pronouncing that. It works very well. It has, it will go off for a good minute and a half if it senses, which it's being stubborn today. Or you could just hit the button and it automatically will, uh, for, I think, uh, 60, 60 seconds, or I think this says 66, but I'm not too positive on that one. I forgot to mention this is the resin I am using again I will try to link this below I use this pretty much because it works well and it's inexpensive which means I can keep the cost of my items down and you guys can save some money and then I am using this white pigment for the white
I do do this twice to really make sure it cures. And then I flip it over, especially if it is a saturated um, pigment, the light, the UV light has a hard time reaching all the way through. So I flip it on over to make sure both sides get cured. I'm doing that in a second. That way when you take it out, it doesn't come out all gooey and gross. And you didn't just waste the uh, mica powder because that's right at the bottom. unmold these. Now if I feel like they need to go under the UV lamp one more time, I will do that. If not, then I am just going to glue them right on to their containers. For the most part, makeup powder comes right out usually doesn't leave too much of a mess on the inside but occasionally you'll get one or two that doesn't want to come out all the way but as you can see it's still nicely coated for the most part all right some of these are slightly tacky but that could just be because it's such a wet summer so i am just going to use this lovely little light I can just flop that right on top for a second. And get my hot glue gun ready. Also, you should be wearing gloves. I know I am not. Resin tends to be on the toxic side uh, and can cause contact dermatitis, AKA irritation to the skin and sometimes allergic reaction. Uh, so please use gloves. I'm not getting this too messy. I'm not worried about it at the moment. I do notice I am slightly a little on the tacky side. So I am just gonna clean my hands with some 99% rubbing alcohol. It tends to get rid of that tackiness. All right, this should be heated up enough. And I just basically add a little hot glue. The glue stick. Be right back. Oh, we're pretty. Let's try this again. There we go. That's better. I'm just going to move these out to the side and out of the way because those are done. I'll try to keep things nice and organized. And of course, if you're wondering why taking all the time, obviously black's going to be darker, white's going to be lighter. Like this one here, let me show you. This one actually surprised me. This one is a white, just blue iridescent, so white, blue, pearl. I figured it was just gonna add a nice, kind of like shiny iridescent to this black. It actually looks very sapphire. Super pretty. And this is why I like doing this, because I have more of an understanding of how it's gonna look uh, before I'm done. So yes, this may seem tedious to you, but this is going to save me so much time and effort into having to fix or waste money, which I absolutely hate doing. Also, another reason why I love doing this is because this little container and this big one right here are exactly the same color pigments just different company now these look pretty similar on both but some of these actually look way different 
this one, for instance. Oh, uh, the white one looks a little more off, but we get different, and these are exactly the same color pigment, or mica powder, I should say. Different companies, obviously different sizes. So that has definitely helped me see which one is actually better quality and more bang for my buck. All right, so that is what I am doing in this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll give you a sneak preview so I'm not totally boring you thinking I'm doing lame things. So the next video I will be doing is a demo on this beautiful bad boy. I'll use the mirror markers or paints I should say. The silver comes out phenomenal. The gold's a little on the touchy side. I gotta figure out why it's not as reflective. But I'm definitely gonna do a nice demo on these for you guys in the next video. So you can definitely stay tuned. Of course, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.